We're going to demonstrate how to mechanically fasten Firestone flash guard through wall flashing to a steel stud construction wall substrate. Next, we'll create a seam with one and a half inch flash guard tape. And we'll conclude with showing you how to properly install Enverge flash guard EPDM preformed inside and outside corners. Before you begin, Make sure the substrates are clean, dry, smooth, and free of sharp edges, loose or foreign material, oil, grease, and other materials that may damage the membrane. Remove all protrusions from the substrate, which could damage the flash guard membrane. When applying the flash guard membrane to a steel stud wall, it is necessary to install a metal strap. The recommended thickness of the metal strap is 16 gauge. When working in temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, make sure to store the membrane and tape at 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit before using. Begin by spraying the substrate and membrane with 7877 spray adhesive primer, a minimum of 8 inches above the wall to footing transition, and allow it to dry. Drying time is typically 2 to 3 minutes, depending on ambient temperatures. The flashing must be installed at least 8 inches above the wall to footing transition. When applying the 1.5 inch double sided flash guard tape on the wall, align it where the top edge of the flashing membrane will be installed. To remove the backing from the tape, slowly pull the release paper at a 45 degree angle. Starting at the top, attach the flash guard EPDM membrane to the wall. Flash guard EPDM can run in lengths up to 50 feet without the need for a lap joint. Continue the membrane down the wall, over the wall to footing transition, and out to within one half inch from the edge of the footing. If you are also installing a drip edge, continue the membrane to the edge of the brick shelf and over the drip edge. Note, a drip edge is not used in this demonstration. With the membrane secured to the wall, roll with a one and a half inch roller to ensure complete contact. Align the termination bar with the top of the membrane. Install the appropriate fasteners six to eight inches apart. They should penetrate the membrane and form a compression seal to the substrate. Place a continuous bead of lap sealant HS along the top of the termination bar and over the exposed fasteners. Place a continuous bead of water block sealant within one half inch of the outside edge of the brick shelf. Finally, secure the membrane to the brick shelf and roll with a one and a half inch roller to ensure complete contact. Creating a seam with flash guard tape. Spray the flash guard membrane with 7877 spray adhesive primer and allow it to dry. Apply the one and a half inch flash guard tape vertically onto the edge of the underlapping membrane. Roll with a one and a half inch roller to ensure complete contact. Place the overlapping membrane over the one and a half inch flash guard tape. To remove the backing from the tape, slowly pull the release paper at a 45 degree angle. Be sure to press out any fish mouth gaps. Roll the seam with a one and a half inch roller to ensure complete contact. Place a continuous bead of water block sealant within one half inch of the outside edge of the brick shelf. Finally, secure the membrane to the brick shelf 
and roll with a one and a half inch roller to ensure complete contact. Installing an Enverge Flash Guard EPDM preformed inside corner. Attach the Flash Guard EPDM preformed inside corner to the Flash Guard tape in the corner. Roll with a one and a half inch roller to ensure complete contact. Spray the Flash Guard EPDM preformed inside corner with 7877 spray adhesive primer where it will come in contact with the flash guard tape. Spray the flash guard membrane with 7877 spray adhesive primer and allow it to dry. Apply the 1.5 inch flash guard tape vertically onto the edge of the underlapping membrane. Apply the overlapping panel of flash guard membrane, allowing for a 2 inch seam. To remove the backing from the tape, slowly pull the release paper at a 45 degree angle. Place the overlapping membrane over the 1.5 inch flash guard tape. Roll the seam to ensure complete contact. Again, press out any fish mouth gaps. Installing an Enverge Flash Guard EPDM preformed outside corner. Attach the Flash Guard EPDM preformed outside corner to the Flash Guard tape inside corner. Roll to ensure complete contact. As with the inside corner, spray the Flash Guard EPDM preformed outside corner with 7877 spray adhesive primer where it will come in contact with the flash guard tape and allow it to dry. Apply the one and a half inch flash guard tape vertically onto the edge of the underlapping membrane. Spray the flash guard membrane with the spray adhesive primer and allow it to dry. Apply the overlapping panel of flash guard membrane, allowing for a 2 inch seam. Remove the backing slowly. Place the overlapping membrane over the 1.5 inch flash guard tape. Roll the seam to ensure complete contact and press out any fish mouth gaps. Use Firestone Building Products as your building envelope resource. Tying together our roofing systems, Enverge cavity wall assemblies, and metal cladding can provide the most effective, efficient, and environmentally conscious solutions in today's competitive marketplace. Using these solutions will ensure the compatibility of materials working together from top to bottom including all transition areas, roof to walls, windows, doors, and other penetrations. One company, multiple solutions working together to fit your complex building envelope needs. Firestone Building Products. Nobody covers you better from roots to rooftops.